What's up with you? Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. That is hashtag version and I'm your personal auxiliary Vinay Panekar. Tuning up back with another important video of letter writing. How to score that five great marks of letter writing by just writing formal letter. Now in your school, they must have discussed that you should either go for informal letter instead of writing formal letter because informal letter has got some great advantages over formal letter. And sometimes it is again, you know, uh, a troublesome task for you to write down letter writing in formal because up every time the 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 format has been kept changing but right now the letter which i'm going to show you is something which has got an exact clear format here the format has been written down from the book of writing skills of navneet grammar so i want you to refer this format and go for your examination which will make you you know hooked up for the perfection now i want you guys to pay attention on the on the content and make sure that whatever sort of letter comes into your examination, you need to follow the same format. What you want to do is, first of all, you will write down the heading that is letter writing. Is it clear? Then further moving ahead, we have got a name. If you have got a name in the letter itself, which has already been given from the both side, you should write down that same name. If not, then do not write any name. Instead, you have to write X, Y, Z, where an X stands for your name, Y stands for your father's name, and Z stands for your surname. Is it simple and clear for you now? Then moving further ahead, X, Y, Z, you have Okay, as your name, put a full stop over there. Then write down your building number, your room number 302, B Wing, Rose Villa Apartments. All right, and always try to move, move down into classiness. Write down some great address. Do not write any address that you know. Write down a simple one. Write down Fort Church Gate. Mumbai 4000001 Is it simple? Then you are supposed to write down the date after leaving one line that is 13th October 2021 Depending on the letter, what kind of letter has been asked to you You are just supposed to write down uh, the date belonging to that you know, period or time All right. Just imagine that they have asked you to plant trees So you will write down environment day date which is 5th of June So you will write down the date that will become possible Again that would become possible and easy for you It's not mandatory to write down the date which is there on the examination day that is 16th of that is Sorry 19th of, Mar 19th of March 2022 You can write down some different date too All right. Then you are not supposed to write down 2 over here Skip writing 2, avoid writing it then you are, you are supposed to write down the chief officer. It can be the principal, the police, the police, uh, the police commissioner. Yeah, it can be different. All right, based on the subject that they have asked to you. Pollution Control Board (PCB) size Southern Fort Church Gate, Mumbai four triple zero 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 one. Make sure that whatever address you mentioned down over here, the similar address has to come down over here too, so that it becomes again easy. For a recognition of the place where you have written the letter. Alright, then you have written the subject. Now, what is this letter all about that I'm going to teach you? The letter is all about application requesting you to spread awareness of banning firecrackers this Diwali. Due to certain pollutions and due to some health hazards, uh, the letter has been written to the Chief Officer of Pollution Control Board that uh, the writer is requesting to spread awareness of banning firecrackers this Diwali. Now this awareness can be spread to many different mediums of media, right? You can advertise, you can make up, uh, you can put up rallies, you can go on to the national channels. And apart from that, you can use socials and etc. To, uh, to spread awareness. So you need to make sure that whatever question, whenever the questions of this time comes into board examination, you start genuinely using these ideas perfectly so that you can get good, great marks. All right. And apart from that, moving further ahead, once have you written subject, you need to make sure that you have underlined very properly all the entire subject and that too that you have to do double underlining and whenever you, your one line finishes over here while going on to the next line write it from here don't start writing below the subject that is from here that again creates a negative impression that you have, haven't got the way of writing it then once after you have written subject, you have outlined it, you need to make sure that you have to write down the body. The first paragraph of the body has to be very simple. You will start down by writing respect itself from the left side of the margin. 
then you will write down uh, put a comma here and you will write down greetings of the day all right greetings of the day it can be good afternoon for him or good morning and whatever time the letter get is received by the person i x y z of the above mentioned resident the residential address had written you this letter to bring into your notice a request to spread awareness of banning firecrackers this diwali just like marathi you need to make sure that you are writing down the content in such a manner that you mention up your own name your address and your purpose of writing down the letter all right the first paragraph only should contain the purpose of your body all right and then moving on to the first second paragraph you can write down and make down your own second paragraph whichever the topic has been given to you you just need to make sure that you are making pointers first that what you are going to write down inside the letter and after making the pointers try to make a body and then you can start writing down what do you want to do all right then in the second paragraph i have written the pollution in our city is a major threat it's on the urge of increasing every hours and days the pollution thus may increase due to burning of firecrackers which may cause severe health hazards which may cause severe problem to the natural environment endangering many species and leading a life full of disease and disorders of the citizens all right the here we have completed our second paragraph the body why have we written the letter and now in the third paragraph we can write down that i plead you to look forward towards my request and make a wise decision now this paragraph you can uh, straight away copy as what i have written over here i hope you will consider my letter and may find out the rightful solution okay i uh, whatever letter comes into your exam the third paragraph if it is same throughout it's completely fine and okay because it is just a normal request to read the letter and come up with a solution all right at the end you have to write down thank you okay thank you like that's compulsory then your sincerely x y z is it clear after sincerely you're supposed to put a comma over here which is un but uh, mistakenly not uh, uh, put down i'll just put a comma that is done okay it's a light comma and at the end you're supposed to put down a doubt over here this is how the letter writing format has to look like i hope you have understood the entire letter writing format certainly i'm going to give you one question to practice As you can see over here, the question number two that has got the following announcement is put up on your school notice board. Mukut Karara Farzana Sheikh writes any one of any one of the letter related to it. That is formal letter or informal letter. This is the question that you are going to solve right now. Answer it to me on the Gmail or Instagram. Anywhere it can do. But make make sure that you are writing in a good manner. Whatever has been given to you in the notice over here, you need to make sure that you count down in every single aspect, and then you just frame out the letter. And with that, also make sure that you are writing only formal letter. If you find informal letter interesting, then you can go for it. Otherwise, do go for formal letter because that is something which will help you fish a lot of marks. All right. With this, I have just come to the conclusion of the video. That I hope that you have understood the letter writing format. If you haven't understood it yet, I'll make sure that I'll try to explain down this uh, particular letter by tonight. And also with that, do not forget to share, subscribe, and like down my video. Please put a quick fat thumbs up on this video so that it can reach the mass audience. Also subscribe if you have not done it yet. Until we meet for the very next time, all the best.